Bobby, how crazy has this time been for you after coming off the Memorial Cup and the season you guys had? Come here, get ready for the draft. Does it just seem like your head spinning? Oh yeah, of course, and especially when you're playing like playoffs and Mem Cup, you don't think about draft that much. And then when you come here now and you have to talk about draft rankings and all those things with the teams, and like, so it's it's a little bit different. Was London everything you thought it would be when you first signed up to play for the Knights? Mm, I think it was so much better. Like all like those nine thousand fans every night, pretty much, and like great team, and like of course like pretty unbelievable play up front. It's a lot of talent to you guys, to you guys in this draft. What do you think about your game separates you? I think my hockey IQ and how smart I'm either, and like uh, I think it's pretty hard to teach that thing, and I can always go like to work out at the gym and get more muscles or practice my shooting or something like that, but it, it's hard to teach. Uh, 23. Yes. Uh, it was it was nice and like, you never know about those. It's like sometimes you're like so mad after those and sometimes you're so happy, but the team who you came, where you came mad might draft you and you know, like they actually like you and they just want to like try to you like what's going on when like you're mad or something like that. So. It's pretty e exciting. What stood out to you when you meet with 23 different teams? I imagine it becomes a bit of a, a wash after a while, make, meeting with team after team. Yeah, it's special. Like I have like first day nine teams and like seven in a row, so it's you have to like concentrate a lot. And especially when English is not my first language, and it's like yeah, you are pretty tired after those interviews and just want to go sleep. You ended up as an all star at the World Juniors. How did you feel about your performance overall, and what was kind of a, a young decor. Yeah, I think it was just like our, our we have a good team and like but like I, I don't think the age is a thing and like if you're just a good player you can show your best and like just just do your best there and like yeah everything went well and we won the championship and everything so it was pretty much a perfect tournament. And you're from Helsinki originally? Yeah, I'm from Helsinki, yeah. So it's like 10 minutes away from my home so it was pretty nice. Was it was like winning gold in Jokeritz Arena? Yeah, yeah, it was of course like my dream was always when I was young that I'd go play like games with Joker at the pro team there. But like now I won like the Iron Tournament Championship there, so it was, it was pretty great. Yeah. What players do you watch and try to model your game after? Uh, I like Hampus Lindholm from Anaheim, and like I think we have some same things there, like the two-way games there, but also like the offensive upside, and we can play penalty kill, power play, and like all situations on big minutes. So yeah. When you decided to play in London? Come to you know, come to Canada and play in the juniors. What was the decision process behind that? Because a lot more Europeans seem to be making that jump. Yeah, of course. Like all the Europeans, they want to be like NHL players. And like, if you just watch those like this year craft or how many players is so crafted from OHL and things like that. And like, uh, especially like London. London is a great place and probably the best place to play junior hockey. So it was just great feeling that they wanted me there. And like, I was more than excited to come there. Was it difficult on you to, you know, to adapt to the culture and, you know, leave friends and family behind? Yeah, of course, it, it takes a while, especially, like, the language things, and, like, I have improved a lot with that thing, too, and, like, but, yeah, the first, first month is pretty, pretty hard, always, but, like, I had a great team, and, like, everybody was friends with each other, and so it was, it was great. Were there any nights in particular that, that helped you out off the ice? Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time with Victor Mete actually, and like he was he was driving me after practice, and because I don't have tr my driving license, so yeah, he he was always like with me pretty much, and also like Max Jones and those young guys. So I was I was pretty much my all, all the time with those guys. This is your team championship. You experienced these championships. You experienced this season. Which one brought you the biggest emotion? Oh, Mem Cup for sure, because like it's pretty much like 90 game nine months, almost ten months with some one team and just for one goal and it all comes down for overtime, one game, last game and like it's it's pretty e exciting. The Knights had that circle that you guys would do before games and warm-ups where guys would like dance or tell stories. What, what did you do when you were in the middle? Uh, I Actually, I were dancing with Mitch Marner because we had the same birthday so we had birthday dance with Dieter. <laughs> you expect to be the first defense you're taking, Poli? Huh? You expect to be the first defenseman drafted? Yeah, I'm. I, I expect that I'm first def defenseman. Yeah. What kind of impression has the city of Buffalo made just in the week you've been here? Yeah, so I, I spent most of the time here at the hotel, but at least the hotel is so nice. But like, 
Yeah, when you see outside, there's water outside and boats and everything. So not bad. Like it looks good and like, of course, all these like North American cities are a little different than Helsinki, but like it's just. I think it's a great city, and I saw also the basketball court there, so it's like a sports city also. Did you meet with 